Now it is day two of your July 4th guide series with Consumer Reports. We're back with their choice of the top sunscreens and bug repellents you can use for all your outdoor activities this summer. Board certified dermatologist Dr. Whitney Bowe is joining us right now to break them all down for us. Good morning. Dr. Bowe, always good to see, with, see you and have you with us. Let us start with sunscreen. So how did Consumer Report performance testing and what makes these products the top? So Consumer Reports uses a testing protocol that primarily looks at two things. So first they test for SPF. So SPF is a measure of how well the sunscreen protects against UVB rays. So think B for burn. UVB rays don't penetrate very deeply into the skin, but they're the ones that are primarily responsible for sunburn and skin cancer. And Consumer Reports also tests for UVA protection. So think A for aging. UVA rays actually penetrate more deeply into the skin. Mm. And those are the ones that are primarily responsible for what we call photo aging. So loss of elasticity, wrinkles, but they also cause skin cancer. Now, Robin, the FDA recommends a pass-fail test when it comes to UVA. So if a sunscreen manufacturer passes the test, they can say broad spectrum on the label. But a consumer, you know, picks up that product, sees broad spectrum, they don't know if, you know, it passed the test by a little or with mm. flying colors. So Consumer Reports takes that test one step further and actually quantifies how well the sunscreen protected against UVA. Okay, so we know all this. Let's not keep people waiting any longer. What were some of the top performing sunscreens they found? All right, so Robin, you know I like to break down my sunscreens into chemical <laughs> and mineral, and Consumer Reports tested both. So chemical sunscreens contain ingredients like avobenzone. They absorb very quickly. And of all of the sunscreens that were tested in the Consumer Reports testing, one of the top performers was the Equate Sport Lotion SPF 50. Now, this is considered a chemical sunscreen. Now, mineral sunscreens contain either zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, or a combination of the two. And in general, the mineral sunscreens did not perform as well as the chemical sunscreens in the Consumer Reports test. But of the mineral sunscreens that were tested, two of the top performers were the Badger Active Mineral Cream and the California Kids Super Sensitive Tinted Lotion. And let's move on now to bug sprays. So what products are at the top of the Consumer Reports list? All right, so two of the top performing bug sprays were the Benz Tick and Insect Repellent and the Total Home Woodland Scent. Now, these both contain DEET at 30%. And, Robin, I know that there are some potential safety concerns surrounding DEET. There are some rare cases of rashes. You know, there's been cases of seizures from mm. a long time ago back in the literature. But if you stay below 30%, so 30% below DEET, you know, the CDC, the EPA, they say that it is safe to use when used as directed, even in pregnant women and infants two months of age and up. Oh, wow. Dr. Bo, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Enjoy your summer. We'll see you again soon. You're welcome. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.